thing that shocked the hell out of me was to hear a song in 1996-7 that had any vaguely political sentiment at all. I mean, that I found actually shocking, which I take as a sign of the times in itself. I'm surprised, like, especially in, in Ontario and in Canada with, you know, maybe in Toronto that there isn't been more of that kind of, you know, like, it's often political music has been left up to, like, the, the Birkenstock and Shaw crowd, which, you know, is fine, and the, but that's a bit of a legacy in that music, rock music, Canadian rock music, Canadian rock music doesn't have that legacy at all as being, like, politically motivated reactionary type stuff, inflammatory stuff. I think it should be, it can be. So perhaps the climate of the times will breed that kind of sound, and I hope it does. And maybe people hear that song kind of think, oh, I can write a song like that too. Plus I wear Birkenstocks. <laughs> <laughs> In the summer. letting us on the radio which is an amazing thing I never thought we'd ever so it's, uh, it's nice to know that we might have used that time to you know to do something more than write a pretty little pop song something that maybe has a bit of a message but I do think it was like by accident to a certain extent because that song just kind of came out of nowhere and Tim just brought it in it's like Tim Vesley swearing in a song <laughs> so it's pretty it's I think it was a happy a happy collision a mother and her kid. of the vocal takes were a little crazier you know a little more uh, screaming and screeching and whooping and funny sounds from all of us and we just left him in yeah we might have what do you what do you call it what do they do they quantize is that what they do they quantify yeah, yeah. like zz top is that what it's called quantifying when quantize. they take a thing quantize. quantize. What is quantizing uh well if you have a sequencer yeah the computer oh, sort of using... straightens things out yeah, so uh, it moves to things around it makes it in the beat that you've chosen yeah. You can also, you can also computerize things to be in, in tune. Yeah, right. It's like, uh... Madonna had one of those. Oh, yeah. Everybody's I wouldn't got doubt it. Dave's got one. Oh, yeah. Don't go. <laughs> I had one surgically implanted. Do you have one? No. Do you have one? Damn it, I don't. <laughs> out the window during we watch like the international fireworks show and then the x fireworks show and then uh try to record it but you've got some yeah you tried to record the fireworks yeah they, yeah. Didn't, they didn't read oh they, they sounded like uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah they sounded yeah. like uh yeah punks <laughs> little snakes nothing thing. much and then we watched this there was a lot of storms <laughs> outside too and uh what else this a uh, car the car got robbed. We app apprehended a couple of guys breaking into a car. <laughs> Tim again went down, jumped down, and then... And did we actually, the uh, the car alarm it appears on our album. Right, that's... that's right before uh, a bad time to be... Clear. That honking... Having 
acquiesced in, in physically being wrapped in the flag. You can't possibly <laughs> shirk the Canadian <laughs> crown. Publicist <laughs> idea. You agreed. You did it. I yeah, thought it was a beautiful did. shot, but you know, all, for so long we had to like the only question we ever get was or thing was, you guys are so Canadian. Why? And, and we resisted it for so long, and then we finally thought, all right, let's get wrapped in the goddamn flag. Okay. We, we fessed up, finally. Mama only listens to the radio. Papa only watches hockey games. This suburb rocks with the Yeti Van Whalers. God save the Queen. And the three stars of tonight's game are number one, Tim Vesley. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think for a long time it was really like overemphasized and people thought we were just stupid dumb hosers until they realized we were art rock. <laughs> <laughs> When I sing songs like Chemical World, I, I pay attention to uh, the, the funny sounds I'm making with my voice. I, the, the words to me are, are just sounds that come out of, out of uh, vibrating vocal cords and, and have no content when I'm singing them. <laughs> so I, that's my approach to it anyways. I just, I like making sounds with my, with my throat. Later, later, we'll have our big security guys. It's fun, man. You're playing and you look down at the audience. It's someone, and someone's expecting a certain part in a song to come up, and they're mouthing the words, and then you do something completely different. It's funny to see them kind of go like, <laughs> and try to get back into it again. That's a blast, you know, playing with them, jerking them around. The, the, the hard part is when you look back at the drummer and he's looking at you at the same one. Don's game, though. <laughs> that used to be when I was an audience member at Rio Static shows. That was my favorite part. Was somebody would run around the stage and whisper in everybody's ear, and then all of a sudden they'd be playing some other band's song or something like that. I think you just want everything. <laughs> that ultimately you are all for people who all want it all. And that when there are all good things, you just throw them all in there. Is that right? Yay! Yeah. 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 Very good. Audience. <laughs> they all have the same mind. 